think it's possible to, to develop proficiency or expertise in civil engineering in a year? No. I think you need, to be an expert in anything, you need 10,000 hours. It's the classic discussion. You need 10,000 hours. And I think uh, a lot of expertise is developed through experience, not book learning. So I don't think anything should be accelerated to the say, all right, I'm going to give you 10,000 hours in a year and now you'll be an expert. Because I don't think that gives you the time to absorb and to put the pieces together. Our knowledge is now largely constructed on what we can look up on Google. The ability to actually assemble knowledge in our head is getting poorer and poorer because we don't actually do that construction anymore. Anything we need to know, we'll look up. That's the attitude of my students at the moment. I don't need to know anything. I'll be able to look it up, or I'll be able to find a, an example. And in a sense, that's what AI is delivering. Artificial intelligence is delivering what everybody else has done before to create uh, a process for how you might move forward, which is fine, but our human beings aren't that fast. Our human brains, sorry, aren't that fast. Yes. Why is it important to remember anything? If, if the future is just Googling whatever when, when the need arises, what's the point of having a mental web or memory at all? Because isolated irrelevant bits of fact don't construct anything. Okay? Who was the president in 1804 doesn't, doesn't help you know, what's going to happen into the future. Understanding the relationships between knowledge is much more important than the knowledge itself. Okay, understanding why things are the way they are and how they can be changed is going to be much more important than just knowing this fact or that fact. 